Hey, FTD fam, what's happening? So this video was requested for me to react to quite a while now, and I'm finally getting to it. This guy, Thomas, I think he converted to Islam. I don't know the full story, but we're gonna find out right now. Mashallah means as God wills, and it's what we say, beseeching God, passionately petitioning God to protect Thomas and to protect Thomas's family. And so we all say that, asking God to imbue blessings in everything that Thomas does, every step of the journey, in his career, in his education, in his family, uh, and otherwise. And I want to tell, tell you, Aunt Lynn, and Uncle Richard, and Lucy, that if Thomas does this Islam thing right, then you will see him to be a better son. Uh -huh. And if you don't see him to be a better son and a better brother, come tell me. <laughs> and if you see anything weird, then he's not doing Islam correctly. I'm serious, I mean that. Because you can be a beautiful Muslim and a beautiful American. And it's very possible. Right? And so anything that you see, uh, Thomas hopefully is a man of judgment, and good character and wisdom. You can have that and we're here to facilitate because we are a part of a human family, and we only want you to be a happier mother, and for you to be a happier father and a happier sister. And we mean that, and that's real. We want happiness for all of you. And so this is a magnanimous moment. We go on our journeys in life where we have intellectual awakenings and emotional awakenings and finally spiritual awakenings. And this is a moment that's very simple. Thomas has studied Islam, he knows what this moment means. He knows that he's affirming in his heart that there is no God worthy, no one worthy of worship except Allah, which is the Arabic word for God, and that the final messenger that God sent was Muhammad, peace be upon him. And so we're going to say it in English and in Arabic and then celebrate and then get some dinner. Okay, okay so doing his shahada. Good time to take your shahada. <laughs> Uh, I thought he already accepted right, Islam, but now is, uh, he's about to do it. Islam is, is, is not an event. It's a process. Mm. It's not a I like that he said that. It's a process. And we're here to give you water, daily, and we're here to cheer you up, you know, and make it beautiful. Hopefully play some music on the side while you're running that marathon and make it a beautiful journey. Amin. Amin. Any questions? Well, Richard says he already sees the positive things that Islam has brought to his life. Hmm. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thomas, hold your hands in. Repeat after me. We'll do it in English. Hmm. And we'll do it in Arabic three times. I bear witness I bear witness and I testify and I testify that there is no one worthy of worship that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah except Allah and that Muhammad and that Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah is the final messenger of Allah I bear witness I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship that there is no one worthy of worship except God. Except God. And Muhammad is the final messenger of God. And Muhammad is the final messenger of God. Okay. Arabic. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Second time. Okay, we can do this three times. Third time. 
Number three. <laughs> <laughs> His family seems to be really, really proud of him. And like I said, they've seen the positive changes in him, so that's always a good thing. that meant in the name of God the most merciful the most gracious I think I can pick up on that Arabic now <laughs> Okay, what are you gonna say? No one's hungry, don't worry. No one's hungry, take it. <laughs> I'll just be sure and I want to thank everyone here for sharing um, this moment with us. And I think it's uh, really special. I really need to thank you for the name of the service. And thank you so much for hosting us. <laughs> I just want to remind you that at this moment we believe in what the Prophet told us that if you ever committed any sin or mistake, you have been clean, you have a clean slate. The day, like the day you were born, and your name is removed. Hmm. In this special moment, we ask you to pray for all of us tonight. Inshallah, so congratulations. And thank you everyone. Enjoy your meal, inshallah. So we saw that this video was a very, very emotional, very special time for him and you know, it seems like he may be the first person in his family to embrace Islam. And I really love that his family was just super supportive. And the the host, I, I don't necessarily know the name, but the, the host or the uh, the guy that was leading in the, the Shahada, the, that guy, he said that, you know, if he's doing Islam right, you're going to see a better son. If he's doing it wrong and you see anything weird and all that stuff, he's not doing it right. 
And that's a bold statement that he said. And it's the fact that, you know, if you're Muslim, anyways, what the religion states is that you're to be a benefit to society. You're supposed to be a better person or at least becoming and striving to become a better person and people should be seeing and experiencing that if it's like the opposite way then i think you got to sometimes just sit down and ask yourself like whoa 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 am i really doing my religion the way i'm supposed to be but then of course uh, there's going to be people that no matter what you do you can come up with all the various different cures for all the disease in the world and there's still gonna be people that don't like you and that hate you for whatever reason so uh, I just really like that his family was supportive nonetheless and this is also the first time I've seen the Shahada being done this way uh, not only was it repeated three times in Arabic but then they had that uh, recitation at the end when they kept repeating Allahu Akbar I don't know if that's a standard part of uh, Shahada ceremonies but this was really just new, just this whole thing. And then they, they did the other uh, recitation or the other song. I know it's not necessarily a song if you're reciting the Quran, but it was a melody that I wasn't familiar with. So yeah, very, very different from what I've seen from other Shahada ceremonies. And a question I did have about this though is that, is it at the time of the Shahada that somebody is considered to be clean of all sins and all mistakes in Islam? Or is it that time where you actually embrace Islam? I know the Shahada is the outward declaration of your faith, but is that the moment once it's declared outwardly? Or is it the moment that you actually accept it in your heart? If you're Muslim watching this, let me know. I'm curious to hear what you say down below in the comment section. I'm always open to learn. And thank you guys for hanging out with me here in another episode. Leave a like before you head on out of here and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.